Tigers, Pee Wees. They won the Bay of Chalert tournament three weeks ago. They just lost in a heartbreaker in the playoffs, but they're a wonderful team. Ten wins, three losses, three ties this season, and a great kickstart to Scotiabank Hockey tonight. They say a man is what he thinks about all day at the Air Canada Centre, downtown Toronto. Here's a guy that thinks he's Matt Sundin. And if you think you're Matt Sundin, you end up being Matt Sundin. This is unbelievable. This is just one of the 20,000 on hand that he sees. There's the real Matt Sundin making his way in as a member of the Vancouver Canucks. Wendell Clark will join me in just a moment to talk about these homecomings, about his good friend Matt. It's been all Sundin for 72 hours now in Toronto. The Vancouver Canucks have been rolling lately, 7-1 and one in their last eight games. He's got four goals, five assists over that stretch. In a moment, the first round draft of the guy who takes care of the last round of draft. But first, from this Camelton Tiger to our real Tiger, Elliot Freeman of ACC. Elliot, over to you. Well, the fits, Ron, because it's a zoo here tonight. There hasn't been a lot of buzz uh, in Maple Leaf Gar uh, here at, uh, with the Maple Leafs at the Air Canada Centre as the team has slid out of the playoff picture, but there sure is some tonight. Here's the scrum this morning. Pat O'Neill, the Canucks equipment manager, had to put chairs up so some cameras at the back could get a view of him. Matt Sundin did a classy thing. He mentioned Joey Lyons, a teenager who works in the Maple Leafs dressing room during home games. His father, Doc Lyons, owned a restaurant that Sundin frequented quite a bit here in Toronto. Doc Lyons passed away recently. Sundin made sure he mentioned Joey Lyons by name and then went and sought him out and said, sorry for your loss. I really li liked your dad a lot. He meant a lot to me and I hope you and your family are doing well. It'll be interesting tonight, though, to see how the Maple Leaf family feels about him this evening. Don't know what to expect from the crowd reaction when he and the rest of the Canucks come out on the ice for the pregame skates. And we'll turn it to the fans, Sandin coming out momentarily. Toronto, your first homecoming wasn't that dramatic. 
No, it was a year and a half later. I, it was the lockout season in, in Quebec. We only played 40 games. And then the next year was with the Islanders when I came back. So it was a year and a half later. So uh, this is big. It, it's coming back in. And uh, he was a big part of Toronto, wore the sea, and, and carried the team for a lot of years. He's got most of every record there is there. So he did a lot of things for us. And hopefully, uh, hopefully it works out well. And hopefully... He has a great game, but we play good enough to beat him. It's funny, you know, 420 goals as a leaf, uh, 10 seasons, as you say, almost 1,000 points, but you made it an impossible act to follow with because you really grabbed the fan by the horns when you got on the roll in the early or mid-80s. So people ask all the time, captain, leader, what was Sundin like? He was a great guy. He led, he led by example. He, he isn't a guy that uh, played that physical, rambunctious style, and, and sometimes play, people wanted him to play that way because of his stature. But remember, he is the guy that used his talent. He always had 80 points. He always carried the play. He was a, you know, he, he controlled the, the game by how good he was. And that's the, how he led by example. He was always the w most well-liked guy in the dressing room. He was great for the team that way as being a captain. He always got along with everybody very well, no matter the type of player, where they are from. Uh, everybody could always go to Matt's, and, and he was a good guy. Because he was a horse and could carry the puck. Was he difficult to play with or easy to play with? Well, Matt's the type of guy, I think whether you put him with the best player or the worst player, he can still get his 80 points. He is that type of player that he, he's going to get his job done. He, he's, he's that good, and uh, he could carry it, and it didn't matter the line mates he was with. He brought it all the time, and maybe he did it effortlessly, that it didn't look like he was working sometimes, but he, like, he's 230 pounds. He's a, he's a big guy. You did a great job here, Wendell, all weekend. It's great. Always fun coming out here to the small towns. Calvin did a great job. The kids were excited. Everybody had lots of fun. And just the energy and the fun that everybody brings in. So I have a great time coming to it. We'll channel it out of Campbell's and into Toronto in a moment. And later tonight, the Battle of Alberta and Edmonton. There's Scott Oak and Kelly Rudy to tee up the Flames and the Oilers. Scott. All right, Ron.